There is a large category of vision tasks that do not involve the detection of fine-grained details in a scene. Examples include monitoring a workspace to estimate its occupancy and the estimation of the flow of traffic on a highway. In these tasks, the goal is to make high-level inferences about the scene, such as counting the number of people or estimating the aggregate motion of objects. In such cases, we show that these tasks can be solved with a very small number of visual measurements. Consider the task of counting the number of people in this workspace. It turns out that we can perform this task with high accuracy using just 16 measurements. There are two major advantages to capturing such a small number of measurements. First, it ensures that individuals in the scene cannot be identified and hence privacy is preserved. And second, a camera that captures so few measurements can be made fully self-powered by harvesting energy just from the light falling on it. In a traditional camera, each pixel is a tiny square that receives light from a small scene patch. Our approach is to use freeform pixels where each pixel performs a linear projection of the scene. This is done by using a detector with an optical mask in front of it. A freeform pixel can take on any shape, which is determined by the transmittance function of the mask. Given a vision task, our goal then is to find the smallest number of freeform pixels needed to solve the task. Here, you see a set of freeform pixels observing a scene. The outputs of the pixels are fed into a neural network, which we refer to as the inference network. Since freeform pixels perform a linear projection of the scene, they can be modeled as the first layer of a network. This model incorporates the optical and noise characteristics of each freeform pixel, and the transmittance values of each mask are trainable parameters. The first layer of freeform pixels and the inference network together comprise a minimalist vision system. For a given task, Training data is captured with a traditional camera and is used to train all the parameters of the system. Here, we see the emergence of two freeform pixels during the training process. Consider the toy problem of counting the number of patches overlaid on this scene. The patches can have an arbitrary location and brightness, partially overlap each other, and even vary in size. We have trained minimalist cameras for this task. This plot shows the performance of minimalist cameras with different pixel counts in terms of the RMS error and the patch count. A minimalist camera with just four freeform pixels achieves the same performance as a traditional camera with 32 by 32 pixels. Here are the four freeform pixels needed to solve the task. We have prototyped a minimalist camera with 24 freeform pixels. There is a traditional camera in the center that is only used to capture videos for training the masks of the freeform pixels. The imaging board of the minimalist camera shows an array of photodiodes. The back of the board includes a circuit for each pixel and a microcontroller that is Bluetooth enabled. The four sides of the camera have compact solar panels to harvest energy from the environmental illumination, which is stored in a supercapacitor. Here, you see the minimalist camera in fully self-powered mode. It is able to read out and transmit the 24 measurements to a remote host without the use of an external power supply or a battery. In this workspace, the task is to count the number of occupants, determine whether the door is open or closed, and detect when the desk is occupied. All of these tasks were performed using just six freeform pixels, two for counting people, two for detecting the state of the door, and two for detecting the occupancy of the desk. Here are the results produced by the six pixel minimalist camera overlaid on a video captured using a traditional camera. In this example, a room is lit by five light sources. The sources can be seen in this fisheye image. There are three floor lamps and two light banks. Using these eight freeform pixels, the minimalist camera was able to accurately determine which light sources were activated at any given time. 
Here, we show the output of the minimalist camera. The black regions correspond to durations for which each light is off. Note that none of the sources were directly visible to the camera. The state of each light was recovered from just the appearance of the room, even as people moved around and obstructed parts of the scene. In this case, a minimalist camera was used to estimate the average speed of traffic in the left and right directions. Note that the lighting of the scene varies dramatically over the course of the day. Here are the eight freeform pixels used by the camera. The estimated traffic speeds in the two directions are shown here, overlaid on a video captured using a traditional camera. The traffic speeds were estimated with an RMS error of 2.3 miles per hour compared to ground truth. Today, cameras are either attached to infrastructure or carried by people as they need to be tethered or recharged. We have presented the concept of a minimalist camera that uses freeform pixels to solve a lightweight task with the smallest number of measurements. Since the minimalist camera is fully self-powered and can transmit its measurements wirelessly, it has the potential to be more widely deployed and hence broaden the applicability of computer vision.